very good question. Um, I ask myself that every day. Um, Michael Montgomery, I've been connected to I ICRD for the last 10 years. Um, I come from Ireland. I am by background a social worker and anthropologist, uh, but I've been working on child rights issues uh, for now on 20 to 25 years. I came to Canada to work at CEDA. Um, I came across I ICRD, loved uh, the approach and um, have uh, landed myself on IICRD for the last uh, six years. Uh, and I'm a father of two children, two girls, and that's extremely important to me in relation to the work that I do. It seems very self-evident that we should start from a perspective um, of how young people see their lives or see their situations. Um, in reality, though, I think um, in the serious adult world that we all live in, we lose touch with some of that. And, you know, I, my, my practice is with Save the Children Fund and, and with other organizations. And what I really feel that IICR bring, IICRD brings to any situation is that's the starting point. How is this young person's view of what's going on in their community. Um, what do they see as the, the core and essential issues that, that they need support with? And then how do we move that perception that they have um, and bridge it into um, actions um, and, uh, and support that actually helps them uh, change their world for the better? Was pretty special from my perspective because uh, it brought together the academic world and the very practical world um, um, of uh, doing uh, work with children. Uh, so in that sense, it was a blended course, which then meant that we as a team had to bring in uh, a range of skills, um, facilitation, um, lecturing, um, but basically really having to think through um, what learning did the, each of the participants, um, what, what was it they were looking for out of this course? And just to clarify, it was you know, mostly doctrinal students. So that also put an edge to it for us, which is these are people who are very experienced in what they're doing um, with, uh, with plan and with um, um, IOM and, and other organizations. So that wonderful challenge of having to rethink for ourselves, how do we um, present the information that supports them uh, in taking decisions about how they do what they do? You know, facilitation um, uh, in some ways for me feels like a, a gift. Um, to enter into other people's um, uh, universe, into their, um, their social space. So in many ways, this was no different from any other uh, coming together um, of individuals into uh, a group process. Um, and the example of that I would use would be the unity circle. Um, I'm always nervous before a facilitation. Um, I have, like everyone, that sense of, well, who am I to be doing this? Who am I uh, to be standing in front of these people who have wonderful experiences? But as soon as I um, feel the, the rope of the unity circle um, and I feel the energy that exists for uh, the group but also for each individual, I really start to connect to... Um, we are all basically the same. Um, we all come with something. We all um, want to do the best that we can. And this course was no different from any other of the Circle of Rights courses. Um, what we created was, um, I think, a, a sense of purpose, a sense of um, how do we use our experience um, in a passionate but focused way. Um, to improve not only our lives, but the lives of uh, people that we touch.
So this was more academic, perhaps, but when it boils down to it, we're the same. There's a whole range of answers to, to that one question. Um, in terms of how I see the courses, um, every course is the same, but every course is intensely different. And it's intensely different because of who's there. Um, and I think what I like about uh, certainly Circle of Rights and what's now starting to evolve in CPID is that we can tailor courses to the specific needs um, and those needs are variable. Some people are coming for academic reasons and some people are coming for very practical reasons. Um, literally, we start out um, with some form of uh, schedule or agenda, but that shifts because of who's there. Um, and the who's there is about people's direct experience. Um, and <clears throat> what we end up with is something that's um, it's almost co-created at by the end process uh, because of people's engagement with the process itself. I certainly want to continue to focus on circle of rights. I think um, in the in the world of field practice, um, um, the circle of rights brings something which is quite different for organisations but it brings something which is not business as usual for participants. And that's the recognition of taking an approach which has technical information, um, but actually blends that with um, play, which uh, as adults we uh, have forgotten about to a uh, great extent, um, but also brings reflection in. So that blending of those three elements um, ending up with um, people um, going back to their workspace, to their um, country, um, and producing something different for themselves with young people uh, is something I want to continue to be connected to. It allows us as an organization to take research, to take learning, um, and to take um, practical experience um, and pull out the best of all of that. Each of us, in the approach that we take, um, come from one or all of those perspectives. But I think the courses are going to become richer and richer uh, because the principles by which we approach people and the principles in terms of how we approach working with children um, speak for me to truth. And all of that combined I think will make CPID something that IICRD could be very, very proud of.